Among those questions, are some police agencies more concerned about making money off the drugs than stopping them? Well, at the center of this months-long investigation are laws that let officers pull you over looking for cash. And get this, they don't even have to charge you with a crime to keep your money. As News Channel 5's Chief Investigator Porter Phil Williams discovered, those kinds of stops are now happening almost every day in Middle Tennessee. What you are about to see is how police agencies across Tennessee make money. A tractor trailer stop for a traffic violation leads to a search and the discovery of large blocks containing almost $200,000 cash. Cash that officers keep on the suspicion that it's drug money. What's wrong with having a large amount of cash? Corwin Petrosian refuses to admit that there's anything suspicious about the stash that police discovered in the truck he owns. Officers later released his father, who is driving, without filing a single charge. And authorities cut a deal that let Petrosian come to Tennessee to get his big rig back. If I am a criminal, if they allege me to be a criminal, why would they settle? They do not just let criminals go. In general, it was seized because, based on our uh, evidence and probable cause, it's illegal drug proceeds. Still, DA Kim Helper admits what makes the Petrosian case a bit unusual is the location. The traffic stop occurred here in Smith County near the Carthage exit, but the officers work for Helper's 21st Judicial District Drug Task Force out of Franklin, more than an hour away. Her officers patrol that area under a deal where they give a cut of any cash they seize to the agency that owns that stretch of road. It's a way to make money for your, your task force, honestly. Well, you know, when you say make money, I guess it is a way for us to continue to fund our operations. Do you have any large amounts of money, Kenny, mucho, mucho, the narrow into truck and trailer? In fact, Interstate 40 has become a major profit center for Tennessee law enforcement with officers stopping and often searching out-of-state vehicles. Is it okay that they... It's okay, it's okay. It's because of a state law that lets them seize money, like the cash shown in these police photos, simply based on the suspicion that it's linked to drug trafficking. If an owner does not take legal action to get the money back, the agency gets to keep it all. I mean, this is really highway shakedowns coming to the U.S. Last year, a conservative-leaning group, the Institute for Justice, issued this report, Policing for Profit, that gave Tennessee a D-minus for civil forfeiture laws that make it all possible. Under civil forfeiture, you give law enforcement a direct and perverse incentive to go out and try to take as much property from citizens as possible. What we're doing, we're taking advantage of how the laws are to use the money to be able to put back to fight the drugs. Dixon Police Chief Ricky Chandler heads the board for the 23rd Judicial District Drug Task Force, which has made millions off of seizures in its counties, Humphreys, Dixon, and Cheatham. Can I search your truck and trailer? Then three years ago, Chandler and the Dixon County Sheriff helped create a second team known as Dixon Interdiction Criminal Enforcement, or DICE, to work the exact same stretches of interstate. So everything's paid through seizures and fines. So if these officers out on the interstate don't come up with cash, then they might lose their jobs. Well, it's a possibility, yes. Out here on the interstate, interdiction officers have a choice. Conventional wisdom is that the drugs come in from Mexico on the eastbound side, but the money goes back on the west. While both agencies have made some big drug cases, we spotted both the 23rd and Dine staging time and time again with their backs to the drug side. In fact, a review of daily activity sheets kept by the 23rd discovered that when officers noted the location of their traffic stops, there were 10 times as many on the money side. We want both sides of the road worked. It looks like that they're not concerned about stopping the drugs, that they just want the money. Well, that's what it looks like. Is that the case? And that shouldn't be the case, but that's but what it looks like. It shows that the police uh, are really focusing not on trying to get the drugs, not on trying to enforce the drug laws and stop that flow uh, for, uh, throughout the country, they're focused on getting the money. It ain't anything. And it can lead to turf wars. After Dice got this million dollar seizure last fall, a Dice officer suddenly found himself being blocked in by a unit from the 23rd. Within minutes, five units from the 23rd are lined up in a show of force. Then there's this 2008 video where a unit from the 23rd cuts in front of a Dice unit on a stop, prompting this heated exchange. Leave me the alone. Let me tell you something. Punk. You ever come up me and try to wreck me out again, it'll be your last time, you understand? And that's ridiculous for that to happen. You've got two agencies fighting to stop 
the same cars. Competition can be a good thing as long as you don't violate any person's rights. But they're competing for the money that they can take off of drivers. Well, they're competing to do their job. It's a job that critics say has lost its way. Law enforcement is supposed to be about getting the bad guys. It's not a, supposed to be about making money. Now, law enforcement authorities say their goal is to hit the drug traffickers in the pocketbook, which undoubtedly they have. But some people have hired lawyers after their cash was taken, and sometimes after months and months of litigation, judges have ruled that the money really never had anything to do with drug dealing at all, Kristen. You know, Phil, I'm sure a lot of people are surprised by two things. One, that officers can pull you over looking for cash, right. but then two, that they could take your money even though you're not charged with anything. I get this, you know, it, it happens all the time, even when drivers might actually be involved in drug trafficking. Tomorrow night, we've got some incredible police video that you've got to see. In it, an officer tells a suspected drug courier that he can walk if he coughs up his cash. Here's a sneak peek. video that's going to cause a lot of talk and a lot of debate. I am sure it will, Phil. All right, thanks a lot. As Phil mentioned, we've got much more online, including documents from the investigation on newschannel5.com. And also, do keep in mind, he's got more of his investigation on the way. As he mentioned, our highway shakedown is coming to Tennessee. That's tomorrow at 10.